TIFU by losing $146,000 in poker. Mandatory not today. I've been living alone in a new city for a little more than a year. I literally don't know anyone here except for my work folks who I don't interact with except for at work. With not much to do during my downtime I got into online poker. I have a decent job where I make around 100k a year in where I stay. This puts me in the top 10% of earners. But over the last 7 months I've managed to lose 146k playing poker. I primarily played PLO6. I started with buy-ins of 100. But soon moved to 500 and then 5000. I was losing often but only after I would run up insane scores. Similar every other day I would load up for 5k. Run it up to 30k. Proceed to lose it all. And then buy back 6 more times. I kept it mostly in balance with a couple of big CA shouts. Getting up from the table with, say a 70k profit. Only because everyone else left. But I was a consistent loser. Losing on an average 20k 30k per month. My entire salary would go into this. Other than rent and food. The last week or so of every month I would be counting my dollars to make sure I had enough to make. It through. And then it happened. I lost balance completely. Had a month where I lost 50k plus. Blew through my savings. Took an advance from work. Then blew through that too. As of today I'm down 146k. With 12k in debt and about 200 bucks to my name to last out the month. I don't have enough for rent this month and don't really know how I'm going to figure it out. I am respected at work and seen as someone who is highly logical, analytical, practical and intelligent. What they don't know is that I'm also a degenerate gambler. I'm sure I'll get through this. I have to. And I have to rebuild. But I just needed to put this down and share it with someone. Even if it is just words in an empty sub. Take care guys. Loneliness is a hell of a thing. TLDR. Lonely well to do guy spends everything on poker. End up being lonely and in debt. Stop and reframe. You aren't getting the $146,000 back. So stop thinking about that number at all. Erase it from your mind. You are $12,000 in the hole. That's the debt you owe. Start paying it off as much as you can. Focus on that number. Not the $146,000. Don't. Gamble. Again. If this isn't the wake-up call to see out professional addiction help. I don't know what else to say but expect your life to turn to ruins if you don't get help. Immediately. For food you can use food banks so you don't starve. For rent. You might just have to be late and catch up next month. You may lose your job and home as a result of this. Get off Reddit and make some calls to support hotlines and therapists. So I'm saying this out of love and as a recovering heroin addict. But gambling addiction is an addiction. Maybe you got out of it early enough that your brain isn't over a certain threshold. But think of your brain and addiction like this. A cucumber can be turned into a pickle. But a pickle can't be turned back into a cucumber. Basically once you've passed the point of no return. You can't go back and you need external help. If you find yourself gambling again. Or have an intense urge to gamble again. I would recommend going to gambling anonymous meetings. You may have just went through a phase. But if you are a legit gambling addict then this will be a lifelong fight that you can't do on your own. Let me know if you need any advice. As drug addiction and gambling addiction work on the same reward centers of your brain and are strikingly similar in actions and behaviors. My father always told me, any mistake you can put a dollar amount on can be overcome. Best of luck. Casino employee here. I was a dealer for 13 years. Then moved to supervise. And now I pit. Traveled the country. Welcome to addiction. There's many many forms. Gambling. Drinking. Smoking. 
etc. Blocking the site does absolutely nothing to you. Banning yourself from casinos just makes you travel to the next. Your day-to-day -day tasks are going to haunt you. With gambling ads all over the radio. Sporting centers. Your gambling friends are going to try and stake you. Get you back in. Tell you all the times when they won big. If you're serious. You actually need help. But just my two cents. Being broke is the best possible thing for you right now. You got out with only $12,000 in debt. Ban yourself officially from all the card rooms and beware of any windfall of cash. Find a 12-step meeting. Get a sponsor and work the steps. I don't know why anyone plays online poker nowadays. There is AI out there doing mathematically correct moves and machine learning off of literally millions of past plays. Most players are not human now. At this point, online poker is just as bad as roulette or blackjack at a casino if not worse to even an educated player odds are not in your favor. You are going to bleed out after enough hands. You aren't hustling anyone. If you're going to be a degenerate then go to a casino in or out of state so you can at least sit across from other humans, not supercomputers. The National Problem Gambling Helpline, 18,005,224,700, is available 24-7 and is 100% confidential. Welcome to the Club of Gambling Addiction. My advice to you is that you are never going to win that money back. As much as you may think, just another buy-in. I can make it back, you won't. You can't. Because you don't know when to stop. How do I know? Because I've been there. Put gambling behind you right now. And if you ever end up in a gambling situation. Night at the horses. Casino night or something. Remember that cheering a hose you have one pound per one dollar on is just as fun. I hope you can overcome this. I have been in a similar hole. Gambling a whole month's salary in two days on slot machines chasing that one big win that would get me ahead. Degenerate gambler here. My advice to you, which I do not follow myself, is to block all the sites. Gambling isn't really a money problem. It's an addiction. If you really want to beat it, Find some GA Zoom meetings and share your story. Listen to everyone else's and be of service. The debt is extremely low. Like you said, your income is high. You'll pay all of it off and create a nice nest egg in no time. Your biggest problem will be overcoming the addiction and replacing that dopamine rush. You have two issues. You are a gambling addict and have $12,000 in debt for one. You have moved to a new area and are lonely for two. For the gambling and debt. Delete your account and apps. You can't handle access to them. If the account has to stay active until the debt is settled that's one thing. If you can take out a 0% interest period card and pay to close the account I would do that. With your income you should be able to clear the debt within 24 months. Never sign back up for anything gambling related. It's not for you. You might have to ask your landlord for a grace period for this month. Pay that back fast and never go into that zone again. Get professional help for gambling addiction. For the loneliness. What hobbies do you have? Maybe contact local libraries to see what group activities are going on. You'll have to put yourself out there. But you'll find things you enjoy doing with people that have a much healthier interaction with you. Hiking groups are great, but any activity you are enjoying will do. Schedule group activities and stick with going to them. Just avoid Magic the Gathering or Warhammer you'll be more in debt than your gambling hole in no time. Kidding. Sort of. You could also contact a local senior center and see what volunteer services they need. You meet wonderful people helping out like that. As an extremely bad ex-gambling addict. This felt like reading a journal entry I wrote. Except your story isn't as bad. I lost my house. My fiancé. My car. And my job is six months time. 
Time does heal all things but you need to commit to not gambling anymore. It won't turn around and it'll only get worse. For me this was roughly 15 years ago. About 10 years clean I finally stepped in a casino with family. I now know how to control my emotions and not keep digging deeper so I trust myself to play lightly. And what I can truly afford to lose. You don't trust yourself. Work on that and I promise the money will replace itself. When they say it can always be worse. Take it from me. It can. Godspeed. You know that a lot of the times a group that know each other and are communicating their hands. Just waiting for someone to join the table then they gang up on that player. Tell real life people and get some help. As someone who was a degenerate gambler in both online poker and the stock market. The only way to quit is one. You go flat broke with no other way to get money or two. You find a different hobby just as exciting. For me I went broke. Was $200,000 in debt. Lost my job because I skipped work to play online poker. My parents disowned me. Friends avoided me. And basically I was alone with nothing to fall back on. I literally hit rock bottom. Took on hourly jobs. Because companies that required background checks saw my bad credit score. And slowly worked my way back. Even now, 15 plus years later, my quality of life still sucks compared to what I had back then. My advice for you, since you're only $12,000 in debt and employed, is to find a hobby that you are passionate about and doesn't require a ton of money. Whether it is working out, C&W dance, reading comics, composing music, just something that will take your mind off gambling, it does work I took on coin roll hunting. And after my first few silver finds I was hooked. There's even a sub about CRH if you are interested. Wish you best of luck as this addiction is hard to beat. But you can beat it. DM me if you have questions. Or need someone to bounce ideas off. You may want to seriously consider signing up for your area's gambling blocker. It's clearly harmful to you. And it might get you onto a hobby that doesn't have you spending the cost of a new car every time. You play. You will be okay. But get therapy or do something to figure out what you are compensating for and find a healthier outlet for it that will not break you again. Are you familiar with Norm Macdonald? He says he lost everything he had three times before he quit gambling. He won $50,000 in Atlantic City, and waded into the ocean and threw it all into the ocean as some stupid symbolic gesture. Because he would just gamble it all away. After he lost all his money, he went to his room past a coke machine. He wanted a coke, but he only had 65 cents. He hatched a plan to go downstairs and play nickel slots until he had a dollar. He was there over an hour and hit 95 cents 8 times but never got to a dollar. Only after that he thought they would have brought me a free drink if he asked. Lots of funny gambling addictions. But he always came back and eventually kicked his addiction. HTTPS U2.be slash A UK8 BLIXYA Op you need to be calling local organizations. Make sure you get food for this month. Food banks. I can even help you find one nearest to you. Be very honest with the organizations about your situation. They will be much more willing to help you with honesty. They will also question you for being there when you're well to do normally. So being honest here is key. Reach out to a church. See what support they are willing to offer. There are plenty of people in this world that would be glad to help you get back in the right head. Space. Seek out counseling as soon as you can. I'm so sorry to hear all of this. I'm addicted to marijuana and go through insane withdrawals with beaming migraines when I don't. Smoke. We are all only human. Gamblers Anonymous is a great program. Gambling addiction is rough. You are addicted to gambling. 
You might want to start therapy and stay away from any games involving money. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.